Yep. Best place you're probably going to get footage on this later on down on the desk here, would you? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for coming along this afternoon. Um, just for by way of introductions, um, I'd just like to introduce you to Alison's um, parents. Uh, to my right, we have Mr. Jeff Dickey, that's G E O F F. Uh, Jeff's wife, Priscilla, P R I S C I L L A. And the spelling of the surname is Dickey, D I C K I E. Uh, to the end, we have Acting Detective Inspector Mal Gundry, that's G U N D R Y, from the Brisbane West District. Um, Mal is the, op is the manager of this investigation. And myself is Mark Ainsworth, Detective Superintendent and Regional Crime Coordinator at Metro North. Um, the way we'd like to, to conduct this conference this afternoon is Mr and Mrs Dickey have prepared statements they would like to read out. Um, at this time um, they don't wish to ask answer any questions from the media but they do have prepared statements um, which they'd like to read out on behalf of, the, of themselves and the family. So um, at the conclusion of that um, uh, we could the, the police officers would like to make an appeal for some public assistance as well. So I'll just... Uh, just start off with Jeff then, if that's okay with everyone. Okay. Uh, Alison, if you're watching or hearing this release, please contact the police or your family. We love you very much. The family and friends of our beautiful daughter, Alison, would like to appeal to the residents of Brookfield and surrounding areas to conduct a search of their properties and report anything, no matter how small, or incidental, it may seem that all the all the, the pieces fit, no matter how small the, the evidence. If you have anything to support, please contact the incident control room at the Brookfield Showgrounds or Crime Stoppers. We would be extremely grateful for your support, and at this moment we need all your support. We sincerely want to thank all the dedicated police officers of the Queensland Peace Service for all the manpower and resources that have been committed to the search. Also to the SES and all the other volunteers that have been out searching Brookfield. Police have had bad press in the past, but if you were out at Brookfield showgrounds and just seen, seen what the police do, it's unbelievable. We are overwhelmed by their support in trying to locate Alison. Please help us, because there are three beautiful little girls of Alison's wanting to see their mother as soon as possible. Thank you very much. As a, <coughs> as a mother, Please, please help us to find our dear Alison. Our lives will never be the same. We must find, must, must find her. She's so precious and she's just so loving. We desperately need your support. We need everyone's support. Please, please help us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you want to stay? Did you want to stay? Did you want to go out? No, we're still. Do you want to stay? No, we're okay. uh, Ladies and gentlemen, as you're aware, <coughs> the police have devoted a significant amount of resources to this missing person <coughs> investigation. Uh, I was to stipulate at this time that the investigation still remains a missing person investigation. As you've seen, um, the Brookfield showgrounds, uh, we have a Ford command post, um, which is manned by police uh, continually and searches um, have been conducted in a systematic manner utilising police service resources and the SES who have done a marvellous job over the weekend. Um, we have a major incident room running at the Indrapilly CIB uh, where all pieces of information 
come in from the public through Crime Stoppers and information forwarded to the Ford Command Post at Brookfield are being run out. As uh, Jeff mentioned, we're seeking the assistance from anyone that may live in the Brookfield area, the nearby surrounds, that live on acreage. Um, as you'd be aware, the, um, some of the acreage out there is quite rough, overgrown. If you can please take the time to have a look at your properties, and if you find anything at all that you think may assist this investigation, if you could please contact Crime Stoppers, um, it would be much appreciated. If you uh, live next to areas where the houses or properties are vacant, if you could notify Crime Stoppers of that as well, and that will be fed back to the major incident room, which would assist greatly in the search of the area that's been conducted. Mel? Yeah. We just appeal to you. We just appeal to any uh, anyone out at the Brookfield area or anyone that has any information if they can uh, contact uh, Crime Stoppers in relation to this matter. Can we just ask what the circumstances were on um, the day that Alison disappeared? The information that we have is um, Alison's husband reported her as a missing person. Um, he reported her. The situation was uh, Alison's husband reported Alison as a missing person who had not returned from an early morning walk. Um, that was reported to us uh, early on Friday morning and as a result of that report um, we've conducted uh, numerous investigations and inquiries and those inquiries and, and, uh, and investigations are still continuing as is the search for Alison. The walk on a Friday, which was Friday morning. Is it out of character for her to be missing? Very much out of character, as you can imagine, for any parents out there, or mothers in particular, to go away from three young daughters for a prolonged period of time without any contact, I'd suggest is, is quite unusual. Mark, does your appeal suggest you found nothing that, in terms of clues at the stage? I can't really comment on that at this stage. Um, all I can say is that we're, we're putting in a, as many resources to this matter as we can. Um, there have been a number of people interviewed and spoken to. Uh, a significant amount of public information has been forwarded through Crime Stoppers, which is being run out in the, at the Indrapilly Criminal Investigation Branch, so, and we'll continue to do so. Uh, we've heard reports that Alison's husband's being treated as a suspect. Can you confirm that? It's, that, that report's not entirely correct. There's, as I said, there's a number of leads we're following. There is multiple people that we have spoken to and, and interviewed. Um, her husband was the person that reported Alison missing. Um, there has been numerous inquiries with numerous people being conducted at this time. So he's not a person of interest? Not at this time. Is the area, I'm not familiar with the area, is it, are there lots of waterways and things and dams and so it's, on? Um, <coughs> Brookfield area is, is quite a nice area. Um, used to be a gold mining area years ago. There are a number of um, mines in the area um, which still exist in, in that particular area. Um, it's a semi-rural type area. There's um, a lot of residential properties there, acreage type properties. There's bushland, there's creeks, there's dams. Um, you name it, we have it out in that area, like a typical rural setting. Um, a lot of bushland overgrown. Um, but as I said, we, we'll be continuing our searches out there until we're satisfied that we've exhausted searching that whole area. You said that Alison went on an early morning walk. Is that something that she did regularly? From our investigations, we believe that it was a regular occurrence. Where would you sort of walk out from? We're unsure about the, uh, the distance, but it was around the, uh, the uh, Brookfield area, uh, around the Brookfield State School, um, and at times the Gold Creek um, Road. She may have been upset when she set off. Can't really comment on that. Really yeah, there's been no movement on accounts or mobile phone activity or anything like that? That is forming part of our normal missing person investigation. Um, and um, that, that's a normal procedure we do with missing people, with missing persons inquiries uh, that we normally conduct. And how about the, the young girls? How are they holding up? Do they know what's going on? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they do know what's going on. Um, as mentioned by Mr and Mrs Dickey, they're, they're very upset. They're very close to their mother. Um, and it's a very traumatic time for three young young people that are very close to their mother. Um, 
and haven't seen her since last uh, Friday morning. Is she on any sort of medication that she may have neglected to take in that regard? I can't comment on that, I'm sorry. Is that a fact that you're looking into? That's part of, every, part of our investigation. We obviously we go right through all the um, medical history and backgrounds of, of the missing person. I understand that you, you said that you do look at things like bank records and that sort of thing. Has there been any movement on that? I can't comment on that, I'm sorry. How much of the area do you think you've completely covered in terms of the search and how much is there left to go? The search um, at this stage has been ongoing since Friday. Um, the search has, has also included uh, aerial searches from helicopters um, with infrared lighting and other lighting areas. Um, we're concentrating on a systematic search of the near vicinity of the residents and um, that's still continuing as you've seen today. Um, there's still quite a bit of search area to continue. Has her husband been formally interviewed? Has her husband been formally interviewed? A number of people have been spoken to including, um, including Alison's husband. Is there anything at the, at the home that suggested any sort of foul play? Or? I'm, I'm sorry Andrew, I can't comment on that at this stage. Uh, any other details you can offer that might jog someone's memory? Well, we could appeal to anyone that may know Alison in the area, and you know, she's quite a distinctive looking lady, that may have seen her walking or regularly see her walking or exercising in that Brookfield area at any time. I uh, would be particularly interested to talk to them. Uh, we'd be particularly interested to talk to any of Alison's uh, friends or Alison's family, friends, associates, work colleagues that may have any information that it can assist and progress our investigation along to locate <coughs> Alison. Um, I guess, you know, Brookfield is a pretty tight community. Uh, everyone seems to know everyone out there pretty well. And there would be people out there that have not come forward at this stage that would know Alison's movements in relation to her exercising, her activities, uh, or any other thing that they may think may assist with the investigation. We encourage you to come forward through Crime Stoppers. In terms of if people sort of may or may not have seen someone that day, can you give us a time that she may have set off and what she may have been wearing? Well, we believe um, at this stage it was a time before 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, we believe that she was wearing a grey tracksuit, um, white joggers, and either a white or dark coloured shirt. Correct. Did you have regular walking routes that might be of assistance to people? From what we can from what we can ascertain at the moment, most of her routes were on the roadway. She wasn't, um, she wouldn't leave the road and go in the bush area. Uh, from what we can ascertain at this stage, it's mainly the roadway and, and as um, has been mentioned, the, the route is down around the... Uh, Brookfield, Brookfield Road, around the, uh, the school, uh, not too far. Earlier, uh, press releases said that her husband last saw her around 10 o'clock that Thursday night. Is there anything, uh, is there any sort of information between what happened between that period of 10 p.m. and and 6 a.m. the following morning. We're still running out a lot of last sighting information that's occurring, so that's that is ongoing at the present time, as you well and well and truly understand that um, people's memories are jogged by media releases, and that 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 they may think, yeah, well, I have seen this lady at this particular time. So we're still working on that at this stage. Yeah, this same Friday morning, that was the last time that he saw her. He was re he reported her missing on Friday morning. I guess this isn't an area where you have CCTV vision on the roadway or anything like that that might be able to assist you. That's all been run out and um, being a rural area we're, we're sort of lacking in a, in a bit of that out there in that particular part of Brookfield, yes. And just checking, it's definitely a missing person investigation still at this stage, it's still not a criminal missing, investigation? Missing person investigation at this stage, yes. Did you take anything with her when she went for a walk on the phone or something? Um, there is a mobile phone that we are trying to find <coughs> at the present time. Um, we'd urge any uh, any members of the community out there that in searching their properties, if they do happen to see a mobile phone on their property, certainly to contact Crime Stoppers. Um, it may be quite important to the investigation. Is there any other missing property? missing property? As far as we know at this stage we're, we're particularly interested in the mobile phone. We're unable to comment if there's any other property missing. Would anyone be able to come forward and say that they saw her on the morning? Well not at this stage and um, this is why we're making the appeal at this time to try and jog people's memories to come forward. Um, the weekend has occurred, people may have been away, um, 
and today being the first day of the working week, it's an opportunity that for people to think back to where, what they're doing early hours Friday morning. And if they may have seen Alison, the photograph here, it'd be great if we can get that out again. And you know, it may jog someone's memory um, and may assist us. Um, also importantly, as Jeff mentioned, um, if Alison is out there and, and she is listening to this media release or viewing it, then we strongly urge her to contact her parents or contact police. So there's no obvious reason that we're prepared to talk about why she shouldn't come home. At this stage, no. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. There's a photograph here. Um,